Well, uh, th thank you all. Thank you all for coming. Um, we are here today uh, to talk about small businesses. Uh, obviously, we believe the first uh, order of priority here in this Congress needs to be directed towards jobs in the economy. And we're, when we're asking who are the job creators, small businesses create 65% uh, of all new jobs. And so if our goal is to get the economy growing again, we've got to help small businesses. Uh, and what the bill will do is it, bottom line, will put more revenues, more money into the hands of the small business owners so that they can reinvest those funds uh, to retain, create more jobs, and to grow their business, uh, plain and simple. According to the Joint Committee on Taxation, and the Chairman of Ways and Means is here, may be able to speak to that as well, uh, this bill will impact nearly 22 million small businesses throughout the country. Now, I've spoken to some small business owners in my district uh, in Richmond, and I can tell you what they said. This is Gary Glover of Puritan Cleaners in Richmond. This bill will help us immediately as we look to expand our business by possibly adding a new location or even rehiring employees that we were previously forced to lay off. Ann and Jeff Heidig of Lake Anna Winery. Having additional funds to invest into our business for the purchase of equipment and vines to expand the vineyard would help us achieve our goal to increase production by several thousand cases. We'll be able to hire additional personnel to sell and promote our wines. So again, this bill is a common sense measure we should all be able to rally around the cause of small businesses. This is a small business tax cut bill that goes right to the heart of job creation in our country. So with that, I want to call on the Majority Whip, Kevin McCarthy.